this video we're going to look at working with colors and color resource file. Android applications can store RGB color values which can then be applied to other screen elements. You can use these values to set the color of text or other elements such as the screen background. Color resources are defined in an XML file under the resources folder. So we will look at how to create this colors XML file and add color values to it. Now one of the advantages is when you start to get an app with several different elements that you may want to control the colors of, having this information stored in a colors XML file or a resource file can make it very easy. This example I've got these three XML view files all set up so that they their colors are attached to this colors XML file. So if I come in here and I change the background color to something else and I come back here you can see that with one change all of my activities that are using that colors XML file for the background are automatically updated. So I've also set up the text to use that. So instead of white text, if I decided black, I wanted to see what that looked like. I can come back in here and with just changing one thing in the colors XML file, update the entire look of my app. So we'll start from the beginning. I'm going to open up a different starter file in Eclipse and then we'll look at how to create our colors XML file and connect these to that resource file. So in Eclipse I'm going to start by importing in the sample files. So I'm going to go to File and Import and I'm going to choose from General Existing Projects into Workspace. I'm going to browse to where my unzipped starter files are and then I can select this folder as the root directory and you can see that it's recognized the project files and I'm going to choose copy projects into workspace so that will take a copy of the files that I've unzipped on my desktop and make a new project in my default workspace so it's going to make a copy so that I'll have the original files and then these will be my new files. So I'm going to click finish and it's created the project in the package explorer and I can expand these and you can see the source files that we have here. We have the Java file and in the resources we have there are three layout files and then the values file right now is just strings. So I'm going to open up each of my layout files and you can see by default that you're using the black background with the white text on here. So one thing that you might start doing is if you wanted to change the background would be to click on your background and then go over into your properties and change the background color here. So I could do that by putting in pound sign and my new color. And that works okay for one screen or even just two screens or activities. But once you start getting into several and you want to be consistent, I mean I'd have to come in here and I'd have to change this background color to the same thing. So now down the line, if I decided I wanted to change my background color universally across multiple activity screens, then I have to come into each activity and come in here and change the background, which is a lot of work. And um, it's a lot easier to do what we're going to do by creating an external colors resource file. It's going to be a colors XML file and then we'll connect our background and our text to that colors resources. So I'm going to start by right-clicking in my resources folder because this is where the file will go. 
I'm going to choose New Android XML File. And the resource type is Values. And the file is, I'm going to call it Colors.XML. And I'm going to click Finish. And you can see that over here in the Values folder, it has added a Colors XML file. And it also opened it up over into the side here for us. Now we can add color resources here, and we can also do it through the XML. So we'll do one through the resources. So let's say add and choose color, and OK. So let's say I'm going to define a color for my backgrounds. So I'm just going to say the name of it is BG color, and the value is a hexadecimal value. I'm going to go 00F. And let's go into the colors XML and see that, yes, it's added the BG color equals and our color information. Now, if we wanted to do one for text, we can also copy this, paste it, and instead of BG color, let's say text color. And let's make our text color black. So I've saved my colors XML file, and this is using that blue color. And if I come back here, you can see that these are all still black and white colors. So now what we want to do is connect our text elements to use the text color, and we want the background colors to use our BG color values in a colors XML file. So if I come back here, I'm just going to select all of my text, and I'm going to scroll down in here and find text color. And instead of typing in an exact hex value here, we want to actually connect out to our resource file. And we have a color type, so these are text colors. Now it looks like it disappeared, but it's just because we have our background color that is black also. So I'm going to click over here and I'm going to change my background color and connect it to the BG color value. And then I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to save this XML file. I'm going to go to the next one and again I'm going to change, this time I'll change my background color first. And then I'll select my text and then change those text colors. Okay, and save this and move on to my last screen. And again, connect my background color. And then my text color. Okay, so these are all set up now. And again, the value of using a colors resource file is you decide to make a change. This blue color is too dark, um, so you want to come in here and say, we'll just change this to a different color, something a little lighter. We come back here, and now it's updated on all of the XML files that are using the BG color value. Same thing with our text color. If we come in here and we change this to different color, it's automatically updated. So that kind of a setup can really save you a lot of time and energy and it can help you to work more productively and efficiently by having one place you can give your color a name and assign a hex value to it and then you can assign or associate each of these elements, the background color or text elements, to those specific color values that are in your color resource file.